and we can finish. Now we're still looking at this device manager and you can see here it's refreshing the screen. Help and support came up. I'm going to close out of that. Um, and uh, it does say that there's an error for the device so maybe the adventure is going to continue here. We are at almost eight and a half uh, minutes so here it just says um, to uninstall and then reinstall the device. So I'm going to go up here and just um, I'm just going to try restarting the computer at this point. I think that might help. And I'll pause the video while it restarts. So I'm back at the device manager. This time because Windows has correctly identified what kind of network card this is I'm hopeful that going out to the internet might help, but as you see here, it's not helping. So I'm just going to click Cancel. I'm going to try right-clicking, updating the driver, and once again going to that same folder. Sometimes just doing something twice with Windows can help fix a problem. So I'll walk through this process again. It says it can't find a better match for that wireless card. So um, at this point I'm, I'm a little stumped and I guess I'll have to go out to the web and try to find again some sort of driver, perhaps one that'll work better for this Dell Wireless 1450 wireless card. I've gone back to the internet and I'm searching specifically for Dell Wireless 1450 dual band WLAN mini PCI card because that's what was showing up in the device manager. So I'm getting a little bit closer to finding out more details about this. There are a lot of results that show up, but here's one that's look, looking promising Dell Wireless 1450 WLAN mini PCI card. Um, and of course, you know this information wasn't really readily available until I opened up the computer and then even then it was only because Windows was showing me a little more about that device but here is a link to a driver that looks like it might work I'm gonna click on that release date was 2006 so um, not quite sure that was quite a while ago but let's go ahead and give this a try so I'm gonna download it and with Dell, you have a couple of options. One is to use their download manager. The other is to just download via Internet Explorer, the Internet Browser. I'm going to choose the second option. I just want to get this downloaded to the computer and saved out there. Interestingly, the number, I think, is different. Um, R115321.exe. Notice here, it's, it's a different number. So, uh, I'm once again, going to go ahead and put in Dell um, wireless in this case to differentiate it and I'll type in new so I can quickly find that later. Now I have three different wireless drivers that I've tried in this and um, maybe third time's the charm. I'll go ahead and save that and uh, it's about 48 megabytes. Once that's downloaded I'll try installing it. I'll pause the video at this point. So the download just finished. I'm going to go ahead and open the folder and double click. This is a hopeful sign. It's an actual installation file rather than what you saw before were just driver files but not any installation process. So let's go ahead and run this. Yeah, this is looking better. It looks like it's compatible with a lot of different cards. Um, here again I do want to put in uh, some indication here. I'll call it Dell wireless and I guess it's safe to say universal because um, it is relatively universal and click OK what's nice about these actual setup files versus um, just drivers that are out there is instead of having to go through the device manager and point to specific files that you want that piece of hardware to be using the installation process can usually do a better job of getting all that done. And here it's continuing.
So now we're going through an actual setup process. I'll click Next. This is the kind of thing that, you know, once you spend an hour searching around for the right driver for a wireless card, you can make a note of that, save that for future use, and then the next time you come upon a system, you may in fact have the drivers that you need. But every time, every computer, it's, it's a new story. So um, sometimes you'll have software and drivers from a previous installation, sometimes you won't, and you have to just go through this process. So that installation completed, and now I'm being, uh, it's, it's suggested that we restart the computer now, so I'll click Finish, restart the computer, and when we come back, um, I'll take a look at how things are functioning. So now on Restart, here's the good news, that driver actually worked, and we can see both the um, Windows wireless control, which has been disabled, and the Dell wireless control, which is represented by these bars here. And when you're using the actual software that comes with the wireless card, theoretically it'll give you a better you know, connection uh, to the different networks and possibly uh, more advanced functions and features would be available. So anyway, um, that's going to be the end of this particular segment on getting that wireless driver installed. And what will be next is installing Apple iTunes.